Good afternoon, everybody. Here's our radio update for early March 2017. We're going to start with Public Works again, as we always do. Uh, we have another bridge rehabilitation planned for the summer of 2017 for bridge number 7, which is located on Chiefswood Road between 3rd and 4th Line. This work will impact the flow of traffic through this area. However, these repairs are required to ensure the continued safety of our community. There is also still some work to be completed on bridge number 9, which is the new bridge located on 4th Line between Chiefswood Road and Tuscarora Road. This work will be completed in April and uh, it will require a lane reduction or even possibly bridge closer for a very short time. Uh, advance notice will certainly be given to the community once more information is available. Uh, Council is also preparing to complete work in 2017 to improve the drainage on the west side of the territory as part of the Mackenzie Creek Master Drainage and Flood Remediation Plan. This will entail some work on private property on 3rd Line near Oliver M. Smith School and near the intersection of 4th Line and Seneca Road. The respective owners impacted will be approached in the coming months to discuss the required work as we do need your consent to come onto your property to do the work and also to get your agreement to maintain um, any of the work that's been done. The water rates will be increasing from 145 per cubic meter to 165 per cubic meter, effective April 1st, 2017. Uh, the Woodland Cultural Center is working on completing long overdue renovations and repairs such as a roof replacement and other required building re repairs to preserve the building of the former Mohawk Institute and to save the evidence. The contractor has started the roof replacement and the expected completion date is June of 2017. Public Works has also submitted an application for funding to the Clean Water and Wastewater Fund to upgrade the wastewater treatment system by March 2018. We're very optimistic that this will be accepted and that this work will get underway. Social Services Department is working on getting a conceptual design completed for expanding and renovating the Social Services building to accommodate service growth. This project is also well underway. We did submit an application to extend hydro servicing to the Polly and Johnson Road Railway Crossing in an effort to install warning lights with a bell for the safety of the community and the many visitors we get to our community. For the information of uh, the community, uh, we wanted everyone to know that Indian Affairs has cut nearly $200,000 from our water uh, wastewater department. The Six Nations Council has uh, vigorously followed up with Indian Affairs and with the assistance of other First Nations leadership who are also being affected by this cut, we have secured the water wastewater funds back for the 2017-18 fiscal year. This fight, however, is not over because we still had a deficit from previous year and we need to look at funding for future years. So this is something that we're continuing to advocate for. In addition, we will continue to advocate with Indian Affairs for funding which is needed to repair, replace two pumper tanks within our Fire and Emergency Services Department that are 25 uh, plus years old.